On the shores of the Red Sea, the fourth edition of Egypt's Alguna Film Festival came to a close. With a fewer international stars able to travel to Egypt due to COVID-19, the festival was determined to nurture a culture that makes it possible for filmmakers to transform their vision into reality. Under strict safety measures, 63 feature movies, 18 short films and 10 documentaries from across the world were screened. The nine-day event is the first film festival to take place in the Middle East in 2020. The decision to do the festival was mainly based on the fact that we want life to go on. It's a message of hope, a message of happiness, a message of defiance. And uh, cinema is all about that. The closing ceremony saw Q Vedas Aida, directed by Jasmila Zabnik, claimed the Golden Star Award for Best Feature Narrative. The movie follows Aida, a UN translator who tried to save her family during the 1995 Bosnian War. Another female director that triumphed was Tunisia's Kauther Ben Hania, who won Best Arab Feature Narrative with her movie The Man Who Sold His Skin. The film centers on a Syrian refugee who becomes a tattooed living canvas. I'm really glad to win this award in an Arabic country because it's a movie about refugee in Europe, but it's, uh, uh, let's say, an Arabic point of view, you know, which is not common. The red carpet didn't disappoint, with Arab stars dazzling in stylish outfits. Behind the spotlight, the festival also run the Sinil Guna platform to fund and support young filmmakers. Projects addressing topics of political struggle, humanity and women empowerment from across the MENA region were picked. With the hope of hearing new voices and developing the filmmakers of the future.